Lol. Charot. I forgot the night. Namayon. Ah. Hi guys, it's your not so makana shooter, Shani Pog. Oh yeah, yay, yay. Charot. Hello everyone, I'm Sean from UP Math Club at Sangala ng Pag-Ibiches. Sangala ng buong UP Math Club and most especially ng Academic Affairs Committee, we would like to welcome you sa first ever installment na Math 23 Online Review Series! Yay! And of course, this is brought to you by UP Math Club, where everyone counts! In this series, we prepared Math 23 questions for you, for me, and the entire human race. Sure. Na isolve natin together! Yay! But before we proceed to the review proper, we would like to remind you na sa kahit saang bahagi ng video na to, ay pwede kayo mag-pause for a while para mag-take notes o di kaya... Pag-isipan yung problem, or simple inhale, tapos exhale, if ever, marami na kami na chika sa inyo, gano'n. <laughs> and yes, we're just truly hoping na matulungan namin kayo through this review series. Yay! Okay, sige. Nala tayo sa review proper. Pagod na ako. <laughs> For this video, we will be reviewing the domain of functions of several variables. In particular, we will be sketching the domain of the functions. Pero, paano tayo sketch kung hindi natin alam yung mismong domain? True? In this video, uh, magbibigay ako ng dalawang problems na isolve natin together. Yay! But before we proceed to the first problem, let's just have first a recall of some important notes to consider when you're getting the domain of some functions of several variables. Okay. Um, for example, let's have function f, f of x, y. And suppose f is of the form expression 1 over expression 2. Okay. That means meron tayong numerator na, A, na E1 tapos may denominator tayo E2. Okay. For F to be well defined of course E2 or yung denominator should be not equal to 0. Let's have another function. Let's call it G. G of XY and let's suppose g is your radical function. So let's say um, square root of e1, where e1 is in terms of x and y. Okay, for g to be well defined, of course, e1, or yung radicand natin, should be non-negative or that means e1 is greater than or equal to zero that is for g to be well defined okay and lastly ang isa ko pa mabibigay ay yung function na uh, ln no let's call it h let's have ln of expression one let's call it e1 again and this is in terms of x and y. Okay. For h to be well defined, ano sa tingin niya yung restriction for e1? For h to be well defined. Hmm? Ano sa tingin niya? Okay. So, for h to be well defined, e1 should be strictly greater than 0. Okay. Or E1 is positive. So now, let's go to the first item. <laughs> For our first problem, we are asked to identify and sketch the domain of F 
which is equal to e raised to 2x all over y times the square root of the quantity 1 minus x squared minus y squared. Okay? Observe natin yung form ng function f. No? It is of the form some expression over another expression. No? So, for this to be well defined, just like what we have recalled earlier, the denominator, or yung this whole expression, this whole thing here, ayan, this should not be equal to zero. Okay? Yun dapat yung inconsider natin. Hindi dapat maging zero yung nasa denominator. It just follows that y is not equal to zero. And at the same time, yung radicand natin na 1 minus x squared minus y squared ay greater than 0. Well, kung tutuusin, kung hindi naman nasa denominator yung square root of the quantity 1 minus x squared minus y squared, okay lang na maging 0 siya. Pero kasi for our case, nasa denominator siya. Okay? If we made this to be equal to 0, itong radicand, magiging 0 yung denominator. So, i-disregard natin yung case na yun. So, we just make it strictly greater than 0. Okay? From this, we have the domain of f, which is equal to the set containing ordered pair x, y, where x and y are reals, such that x squared plus y squared is less than 1, strictly less than 1. Well, saan yan galing? Galing yan sa inequality na to. Okay? Manip just manipulate the, that inequality and we will be able to get this new inequality. And aside from that, we should also state that y is non-zero. So for the graph, Ayan, hello. So, ngayon, tapat ako sa aking whiteboard. Yes, okay. So, pagpasensya nyo na ang aking sulat. Yan lang ang aking makakaya. So, part na ito, tayo ay mag-sketch ng graph, no? In particular, graph ng ating domain. Ng F. Okay. Domain pala ng F. Nagawan ko pa yung F, ano ba yan? So, shout out. Anyway. Okay. So, let's start no, with the condition na ano bang magandang simulan gawin dyan? Feeling ko, since nauna naman yung inequality, sige, let's start na lang with the inequality. No? So, ano ba to? Well, kapag equal to, instead of less than sign, ano siya, no? Isa siyang circle, no? Circle of radius 1. I mean, in particular, yung unit circle, no? So, ibig sabihin, yung graph niya, ay, well, malapit lang din sa circle. Pero, hindi nga lang siya mismong solid, no? Sige. So, radius 1. So, let's say this is 1. 1. Ito rin, 1. Oh my gosh, mapahay ang aking graphing skills. I'm so sorry. So, ito. This will be negative 1. And, okay. <laughs> negative 1. So, hindi siya mismong equal. So, for sure, broken line na siya. Oh my gosh, nakakaya. Ang pangit ng aking drawing. <laughs> hindi siya circle. <laughs> hindi siya circle, guys. So, okay. Ulit. Okay. Ayan. So, ano to? Mga, mga 1 and negative 1 yan, ha? 1, negative 1, negative 1. Okay? Sige. So, ayun nga. Mukha siyang circle, pero hindi. I mean, it follows a trace of a circle, no? Pero, dotted lang siya. Now, ang ating dapat isipin ay, kailan ba ito magiging perfect circle? Joke lang. Anong dito yung may shade, no? Kasi inequality siya. So for sure, meron pa rin naman dyang shaded side. No? So let's take a point. Uh, well, dito sa inequality na to, pasok yung 0, 0, no? Kasi if we have 0, 0, well, this implies that 0 squared plus 0 squared is less than 1. Well, it suffices, no? Kasi this will just be 0. And hence, it is always less than 1. So, totoo to. So, nandito yung isang point ng inequality. 
So, ibig sabihin, ayan, pwede na natin sabihin, ito na yung shade. Ito yung shaded part. So, or para ma-visualize pa natin, let's use another color, black. Ayan. Okay. However, meron pa tayong isang condition. Let us not forget na y must not be equal to 0. So, dapat broken lines din yung ating y equals 0. So, nakalimutan natin lagyan ng label. I'm so sorry. Lagyan natin siya dapat ng label. Lagyan natin siya dapat ng label. Lagyan natin siya dapat ng label. X tapos y. So, broken line yan. Okay. Since nasa whiteboard ko na tayo, gamitin na natin ating mga daliri. Ayan. So, broken line yan ha. Dapat may broken line sa along y equals 0. Or in particular, it's your x-axis. Okay? So, mas maayos yung nasa slides. We have this one. Ito yung graph niya. Just like what we've drawn sa board. But of course, again, check the label. <laughs> Don't forget to put the label. So, this is your x. This is your y. Okay? So far, if may questions kayo, pwede kayong mag-comment sa baba. I mean, comment down below. <laughs> now, let's proceed to the next item. For the next item, we are asked to identify and sketch the domain of G, which is equal to ln of quantity 4 minus x squared plus y cubed all over this whole expression here. Okay? So again, as we observe the form of the function, it is of the form um, some expression over another expression. So just like our argument earlier, the denominator here, this whole expression um, for G to be well defined must not be equal to zero. True? Okay. <laughs> So with that said, for G to be well defined, it should follow that 4 minus x squared is positive. No? It is strictly greater than 0. Bakit? Kasi ln yung function. And just like what we have recalled earlier, for ln, yung kinukuha na natin ng ln must be positive. And aside from that, yung expression sa denominator, just like what we have said earlier, should be non-zero. So as you can see, finactor natin yung expression sa baba. Why? Because this will help us later on. Okay, so it is a good practice as well na i-train yung sarili sa pag... sa pag-factor. <laughs> okay. From here, we have the domain of G, which is equal to the set containing ordered pair x, y, and r squared in r squared such that x is greater than negative 2 but less than 2 no sa natin nakuha yan this inequality came from here no yeah. Yeah. so as we solve for x ito yung sagot and aside from this condition we must have the ordered pair x y not equal to negative 2 1 bakit Kasi, if magiging equal to sa negative 2, 1, yung expression natin sa baba, which is this one, ito yung isa pa nating expression sa denominator, right? Kapag pinlog in natin to, if we take x, y to be equal to negative 2, 1, this whole expression here will be equal to 0, okay? So, dapat restrict natin na yung x, y, ordered by x, y must not be equal to negative 2, 1. But as you can see, the domain we have mentioned earlier is just equivalent to the set containing ordered by x, y, and r squared such that x is greater than negative 2 but less than 2. Well, bakit? Because from this inequality here, here, ito, yung inequality na yun, restrict na natin agad yung x to be not equal to negative 2. Ibig sabihin, kahit anong value pa yan, basta hindi siya equal to negative 2. etong expression na to, here, hindi na siya magiging 0 anymore. Okay? 
kahit maging equal to 1 pa yung y natin, pero kasi na-restrict naman na natin, na, nasabi naman na natin yung x will never be equal to negative 2. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, even ito lang na inequality yung present sa condition natin sa domain ng g, I mean, condition for x, ha? Hindi na magiging 0 yung itong polynomial na to na x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 2y plus 5. Okay? Proceeding sa graph. For our next graph, we will be doing the sketch of the graph of domain of G, no? So, given by this set. Okay. So, ang galing nga kasi isa lang na inequality yung need natin ilapag sa plane na to. Okay? Okay. X also kanina, remind ko lang din na don't forget to put the label sa Always check the label. True. So, uh, let's observe the inequality. So, yung x ay strictly greater than negative 2 but strictly less than 2. So, ibig sabihin, uh, at here, pwede na natin, pwede na tayong mag-draw ng dotted line from 2. Above ng 2, tsaka below ng 2. Also, same thing with negative 2. Above it and below it. Tapos, Ang next step na natin ay, we will just shade it. Kasi, nag, ang nag-matter lang ay yung sa x. Okay? So, here. Ayan. So, ayan ang sketch ng domain ng g. For the graph, ito yung graph niya. Tulad lang din na, ay, similar. I mean, of course, ito rin yung na-drawing natin sa board. But still, check the label. <laughs> ito yung x and ito yung y. Okay? Till the next video, yay! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, chat.